What's up guys, Andrew here. Today I'm going to perform a stress test and a gaming test on the all-new Spectre X360 laptop from HP. First, let's talk about temperature control. With casual usage and basic productivity, the average CPU temperatures were around 52 degrees Celsius. But fire up an HD video and you'll see the temperatures rise up to 68 degrees Celsius. These CPU temperatures are pretty good for casual usage. However, the Dell XPS 13 was just a tad better. For the extreme stress test, we're going to use a program called Prime95. This will push the CPU to the limit. I left the program running for about 15 minutes and the results were surprising. The CPU is supposed to reach up to 2.9 GHz with the Core i7-5500U. However, during my test, for around 3 minutes, it would only reach to around 2.5 GHz. But the temperatures rose to around 102 degrees Celsius. So therefore, the throttling kicked in and the speeds dropped to around 1896 MHz. And the temperatures averaged around 81 degrees Celsius then. Now keep in mind, these tests did vary from time to time. On my other benchmark, I averaged around 94 degrees Celsius for the high. These temperatures are kinda high considering the Dell XPS 13 ran at 2.5 GHz, which is the max turbo, and its high was only 79 degrees Celsius. Now keep in mind, the Dell I tested had the Core i5-5200U instead of the Core i7-5500U. So yes, the Dell XPS 13 does in fact have a better overall cooling system than the HP Spectre X360. The bottom left area and the middle back section is where you're going to experience the most heat since the CPU and heat sink is within that area. It's not going to get to a point where it's going to toast your lap, but keep in mind it does get pretty hot. Now the main parts that get hot on the top side of the laptop is the top section and the left side. Now once you get these fans running at full throttle, they are sort of loud, but it's not too loud and disturbing. Next up we're going to test out Bioshock Infinite running on very low settings at 1600 by 900 on average, I got around 19 to 23 frames per second. For a better performance, you can lower your resolution to 1366 by 768. And finally, we're going to test out Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Here are the settings that I used. I used anywhere from medium to high settings. And keep in mind, this game is running at 1920 by 1080p. As you can see here, the game is running pretty smooth here. I'm averaging around 36 to 45 frames per second. During 25 minutes of Counter-Strike gameplay, the average CPU temperatures were around 72 degrees Celsius, with a high up to 92 degrees Celsius. Alright guys, this wraps up my stress test and gameplay follow-up on the all-new HP Spectre X360. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for all the latest laptop reviews and more. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.